We just shared the gospel, boys, of heavy duty training. That's what it's all about, man, is, is having the answers for people, giving them what they need, saving them time, saving them effort, saving them energy, and uh, helping them reach their goals. That's so fulfilling and so rewarding. And then actually be able to speak with authority on it, you know, point to myself, point to my experience. Watch me train. Here, here's my YouTube channel. Here's the IG, here's the content. So, <sighs> what a successful day. Heavy duty crew, nice to have you back. It is Thursday, August 29th. It's time to train shoulders and chest again. We're back at P5, close to the house. Got dinner date with my mom after, so can we make it quick? Hit it hard and heavy as always. Starting off, incline press. Give you guys a couple pointers on this. This is the incline shoulder press. <sighs> you set up, 90 degree elbows at the bottom. The lowest you want to go from myself, it's about nose level. So somewhere on the face is going to be your stop point. You don't want to get your shoulders impinged by going too low. And really that's it. Try to keep your elbows underneath the bar so you can maintain shoulder engagement. And you'll see what that looks like with 300 pounds on the bar. Force me a rip. Pound a, oh, a pound, a rep over last week. Whew. Well, that's it, bro. One set, it's all you need to grow, baby. All right, so the shoulder press was an immense success. 295 for eight reps this time. I'm very, very happy with that. I love the lifetime PR. Moving on to the lateral raise we talked about. Sitting on the pad to make it stable. We talked about that last time. It was at 35 pounds last time. I'm gonna go up to 42 and a half. Really push the limits here. I'm not usually the guy who makes the big jumps in weight, but uh, I want effort to be very, very high since my volume is so low. My volume is really, really low. So I want effort to be absolutely skyrocketed to ensure that I recruit everything possible. I don't want to use effort by trying to make things feel heavier. I want them to be heavier and I want them to move. So we're just gonna stop talking, start lifting. I've got this woman staring at me, dude. This chick is bugging, following me around the gym, talking to me while I got my headphones in. <laughs> like creeper, quit creeping. I think she just wants to see these big meat balls. You know what I mean? <clears throat> <clears throat> We're gonna rest pause it. Two. Three. She's still staring at me, guys. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh. Nope. We completely exhausted everything. There were no more motor units to recruit, therefore, no more force to be applied, therefore, growth stimulus achieved. All right, so. To not get followed home and murdered, I decided to bond with my stalker and uh, she's gonna give me a spot on this. So I'd say the same thing um, in regards to the lateral raise. Progression was excellent. The reps were heavy, but I got a bunch of them. So that was really good. Now I went to this uh, fly machine. I'm gonna go 10 more pounds than last time and obviously shooting for that six to eight. It's gonna be hard and heavy. It feels light today. <clears throat> You're in front of me. Just, just, I got it, I got it.
Uh, it's fine. <sighs> Almost passed out. I got really dark. I think I might have undershot the weight. Maybe it was 250 last time and I put 240 on this time. I thought it was 230, but it felt light. Either that or the extra calories are uh, really kicking in. Either way, one more left for chest and we're done. We just shared the gospel, boys. We, we just shared the gospel of heavy duty training. That was great. Now it's time for our final set of chest. You can pull on the arm from the side. You could push it up when I get to failure. <sighs> Today was a, a great success. I've inadvertently been having extra days of rest. So we were training every three. A lot of times it ended up being five and six because of just life. And I could honestly say that a couple times in there, I just decided like, you know what? It's not worth the rush. I'm not gonna rush to the gym. I'm not gonna put everybody else in my household in a bind to go train early. And what happened this week? What happened when I came in to train chest and shoulders today? Well, I think I got two more reps, one or two more reps on, two, on a 295 pound shoulder press. That's huge. I went up seven and a half pounds on my lateral raises and got more reps. I think I did even more. It should be 10 pounds more with more reps on the pec fly. And on this thing, I think I went from 170 to 210. So there's a 40 pound jump there and uh, lots of reps, you know, could have went heavier. So just a, a, out, an amazing success today. And I got to share the gospel of lifting with a brother. He's right over there training. His name's Ethan. He walked up and said, man, I'm trying to get like you. And I just, I said, no, you're not. And that always starts the conversation, right? So I just ask him how much he's eaten, you know, the general stuff before we set the hook. But it just ended up being a conversation like, what's the most important thing, Ethan? You know, he kind of thinks, gives me an answer and I give him the right answer. And you can just see the, everything clicking, you know, the lights coming on, the realizations coming to pass and that's what it's all about man is is having the answers for people giving them what they need saving them time saving them effort saving them energy and uh, helping them reach their goals that's so fulfilling and so rewarding and then actually be able to speak with authority on it you know point to myself point at my experience watch me train here here's my youtube channel here's the ig here's the content so what a successful day now i'm going to have dinner with my mama and my baby mama i hope you guys enjoyed the workout <laughs> as always train intense get dense i love you heavy duty crew see you next time